Atlanta United Fan TV. 4-1 on aggregate, I think. Oh, it's happy days for sure. And, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, Miggy and Joseph Masterclass. Um, yeah, with, you know, penalty stuff, with uh, a free kick. I mean, it's just we're deadly on the dead ball right now. Yeah, we're doing a really, really good job with pretty much everything. Um, I think coming into this match especially, uh, well, I know we didn't really talk about it because we had to film our podcast early, but the whole Geiger announcement, everyone was like losing their minds. He was a really good official tonight. I'm not saying that because we lost. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that was not going to – I didn't think it was going to be a reason. And, you know, we've gotten decisions tonight. You know, it, it's because of Geiger being Geiger that we got our free kick call. So he's quick, he was quick on the whistle. I thought he controlled the game relatively well for a while. He could have sent some more bookings out early for NYCFC. But he controlled the game, and he got his calls right. And those calls led to those dead balls. And like you said, we were deadly on the dead ball once again. I mean, Escobar did a great job to draw the penalty to begin with. And then the free kick, I didn't think he would put it in, but when the, the foul was really cynical. And I was just like, come on, you guys have got to stop being so cynical because they were just hacking him down every time he had a chance. But then Miggy says, all right, bet, steps up to it, absolutely drills a free kick like that. That was incredible. I mean, I was thinking we haven't seen a goal like that in a while, and he steps up, bangs a beautiful free kick. And he had a chance to make it 3-1 earlier, but, I mean, we, we had chances. But I think it went about how he expected to. Um, I mean, yeah, you were a little bit more bullish than I was. Uh, I was definitely at this as a draw, so this is just way exceeding my expectations for sure. But uh, it's kind of um, a shame that Kratz didn't get to put his free kick in uh, when we are. Yes, we all, it's, it's one of those one of those little niche things that we all love to have happen to see a Kratz free kick. And I think everyone, when we, when we saw where that spot was, we were like, oh, this could be good. This could be tasty. Um, unfortunately, free kicks are really hard, and he couldn't get that one. But... I mean, it was still a great performance. I thought Tata was spot on with his tactics once again. I thought his substitutions made sense at the right time, gave us fresh legs at the times we needed. Uh, it was just a great, great performance all around. It was frustrating to get the, you know, to concede the goal. I think Guzan could have done a little bit better on that personally. Um, it was a looping ball. We just didn't communicate well. It was sloppy to give up, but. You know, they, a few chances aside, City didn't offer too too much. You know, they had a few chances here and there. There were some pretty good chances. We lost some guys, but they didn't convert them, and we took care of them. Um, so. The only thing they could really do was stop us by fouling. I mean, you could tell they were frustrated and they were very cynical all game, which is a bit of a joke considering their coach had talked about how Atlanta had to dive too much and we needed to stop diving. Well, he sent his boys out there to put us on our place today, and I thought it was a bit harsh from him. Um, you could tell that that was their mindset. It's been this mindset the last few games. They were going out and going, you know, two footed into everyone, taking people out. Mind you, they got some right, but they got a lot wrong. So that comes from the coach. So as far as I'm concerned, he can eat one but clearly Atlanta did not care they kept their composure they kept their calm and they took their chances um, and it, it really could have and should have arguably been worse for NYCFC tonight the game went about how I expected when it came to to us controlling the ball and, and using the space in behind which is how Joseph got his third goal but I didn't think we'd come out and press them as hard as we did from the get-go that was brilliant from Tata we haven't seen the team press like that in a long long time it's just not been a play style that they've had that they've used and to come out at this time of the season in a game like that and, and jump on City and, and, and really force them into giving that first you know that, that penalty went out and got that first goal as opposed to letting the play bring it to you he went out and said all right go attack them from the get go make them uncomfortable which they were the press was incredible the team worked as a whole and, and we got the penalty and then we sat off a little bit which I thought was smart you know, yeah, they, they ended up getting that, the, the, the one, but we had already got a second by then. So it was just brilliant. It, it was, I cannot say enough about how well this team performed tonight, which is such a, just a boon considering how the regular season ended, how concerned everyone was, Joseph's not scoring, you know, and everything being a bit doom and gloom. But then come out, great performance in the first leg, great complete performance in the second leg. Now you see who you get. You hope for Columbus. If you get Red Bull, you know that you're going to have to be on your, your A game again. But playing a game like this, back-to-back, -back, solid 180 minutes, that really can, can get you going and, and get the momentum you need to, to go get that trophy. Yeah. I think uh, we got a big up to Miles Robinson for sliding right in and Jeff Lorenowitz. You know, he's, uh, he's you know, I got a muscular injury. We don't know the extent of his injury. Hopefully he can come back soon. But to be able to slot someone in like Robinson and really not miss a beat is really just a, a big boon, like you were saying. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think any of us expected it. We kind of knew Lorenowitz might not be in the squad beforehand because of an injury. But for Robinson to slot in like that, I wouldn't have expected. I would have expected to have Escobar there and to have Gressel at the right wing back. But by playing the formation he played, Robinson had a fantastic game. He slotted in. He took care of business when he had to. 
which enabled, you know, Gressel to be in midfield again, which I thought worked again. You know, he was constantly harassing them, constantly pressing them, getting his tackles in. He's playing a few, you know, smart passes. He had another really good game from the middle of the park, and they just could not create anything. So it was a bit of a masterstroke on Tata's part, and, you know, big ups to Robinson because he played phenomenal. This is a tough situation to be put in. But it shows that when he's put in a place from the get-go and knows his role, he can play well. So it's really, really exciting for the future. I mean, I get that it's a one-off, but I thought he's looked pretty good minus some of his sub-appearances this season. So... You might look at him playing in that same position if you play a back three in the next game. I think uh, we're just hoping for Columbus, and uh, you know we'll see what happens after tonight. But uh, hey. hell, hell of a tifo though at the beginning of the match, huh? Did you see Tata's reaction? The little he smiled, had a little yeah. Yeah. Just stay. You can always stay if you want to. <laughs> I mean, if you don't get the Mexico job, you can always just be like, oh, I changed my mind. I want to stay. Yeah, nothing's really been set in stone, so yeah, I mean, he yeah, could still change tifo, it. You know. But anyway, yeah. it was brilliant. I, it was it was awesome to see that. That was. Really, it didn't feel that way going into it, but that was the most important game in our history so far, if you think about it, to, to move on to that next round because you lose, you're done. So that's the first time we've been in a situation in a second leg like that. I can only imagine what it'll be like if you can get to a final, but hell of a way to start the playoffs. Very impressive performances and makes me feel a whole lot better about whoever we get. Like you said, another Columbus. Yeah.